Welcome to the, another episode of Scrutter Fabrications. We're going to keep this in short today. I've got my son here with Matt Man. How are you doing? Good to have you here. Good to be here. And we're going to play around a little bit. My wife, his stepmom, asked for a special juju star to be laser engraved onto a cutting board. Uh, what star? A juju star. So okay. she's juju and I'm pappy. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to start drawing it here. We're using SketchUp which is free online. Click Create New. Here we go. I like this young man here. Reminds me of my son. He got a mandolin? Yes, he does, as a matter of fact. I'm going to click right. for Home, but then I'm also going to click Parallel Projection. That way I can see it from the front. Now, here's the fun part. Making a star. Mm -hmm. It's a five-pointed star. Okay. Do you know how to draw a five-pointed star? I bet I can figure it out. Here, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Please do. We're going to start from here. We're going to draw a line straight up. We're going to make it about one foot tall or 12 inch. Okay? Cool. There. Now we're going to zoom in on that. Let me hit escape. Now, from here, I'm going to draw an arc. Here we go. Now, I start from here. I come up to this one, mm -hmm. and I come down. When you draw a circle, it's 360 degrees, right? I try not to draw circles. I'm bad at it. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Divide by five points. 360 divided by 5 is what? Oh, uh, hold on, I know this. 18. Hey, he's fast. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's fast. He's accurate, but he's fast. How about 72? Oh, seven, Look at the bottom really, right. Really 72? 72 degrees. It's Look not, at that. It's not 18? No, I'm afraid not. Whew. All right. So, <laughs> I drew an arc, 72 degrees. Then I'm going to draw a pencil mark here from here over to that end point. That's a 72 degree angle. Okay, now I'm going to do that again. I'll get my arc tool here. Start from there. Come this way, 72 degrees. There, and I'm going to do the same thing from this direction here. Come this way, 72 degrees. And now I can draw those two straight lines from this end point here to this point, and then from this point to this one. And now I can draw another arc. How many degrees? 72. Not 18. That's right. Oh. Now I can draw that straight line from here to here. Mm -hmm. Now we get the arrow. We're going to click on these edges and delete them. And there's the start of our five pointed star, right? Looks good. We we'll click on the, t the pencil tool, come across here, and we're just going to start connecting endpoints. I can go ahead and start deleting some of this stuff, like this line here, mm -hmm. and this line here, and this line here. I can get rid of those now. So now I can start my pencil, go from here to this point, to this point, then from here to this point, and now I can delete this line, I can delete this line, not the, edge, not the whole surface. This point here, this line, and this line. Mm -hmm. Now I can draw a couple more lines. I can draw this one here into here, and this one from here to here. Now I can start getting rid of the rest of these lines. And now is hollow, but that's okay. I can take and draw a line from this point here to this point here. That seals it up, makes it light inside. I can click there and knock that one out. Okay. There's that. Now, she said she wanted a special edge around it. I said, a what? She said a special edge. It's like, okay. So what I did is I came and I found... Did she tell you what kind of special edge, or are you making it up? Actually, oh, I'm kind of making it up. No, I'm kidding. She actually told me she wanted offset. She wanted edge just a little bit offset from the whole thing. So if I click right here on this edge, well, if I can, if you'll let me. It's got a little uh, red circle in it. Oh, there you go. There we go. Had to click the whole thing. <clears throat> and I come up. Now, in the bottom right hand corner, you see where it says distance? Yep. Minus something. Mm -hmm. If I say minus 0.5, that's which is half inch. That's the space that she wanted. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if I do that same thing again and come off of here, and I come off of it again. Try clicking a little inside it. Yeah, there you go. There we go. And I come that off again, say 0 0.25. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Something like that. Now, what I've got to do is get rid of this part right here, hit delete. Oh. And that's what she wanted. All right. Okay? I like it. Now, that's not exactly what she wanted, so i got to figure that out. I think I'm going to undo just a little bit there, and then I hit that offset tool again, uh -huh. and I go ahead and go from this line here, and I go a .5 again. You just did five. Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Mistakes happen, right? Yeah. Hey, how many times have I told you I'm learning more from my mistakes than I have my successes? Point five. There it is. You don't think she wants just a really big star? <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, she wants this thing on that that uh, cutting board. Mm -hmm. So there, that's the star she wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's take this over to Microsoft Paint, and we'll modify it from there. Print screen. Print screen. Mm -hmm. We go back to Paint. Here, Control V for paste. There, there we go. go. Yeah. High fives on that one. Hey, we actually connected that time. <laughs> that time. Find the edge over here on this side. Bring that in. Bring it a little bit closer. There we go. Now we're going to zoom out. Bring this edge here from the bottom up. There we go. Zoom back in. And from here, let's do a paint. Let's make this all white there. Let's make this in white here. And now let's make the inside here black, make the inside of this one black. There we go. That works. Mm -hmm. That is the special Juju star. We go File, Save. In this case, we go to Scrutter Fabrication Current Projects. It wants to save as a PNG. We're going to switch that to a bitmap. We tell it we're going to call it Juju star. We click Save. It puts it in there. Do the want to continue... Yeah, it might be reduced. Yeah, we're not worried about picture quality here. Yeah, it's going to be laser. We're gray, using black so. and white on a 16 color format. I think we're good. But laser won't care. No, it won't. It'll be just fine on that one. Mm -hmm. So now we can go ahead and close that. And then we get started on the lasering of it. Okay, from here, we have file, open file. Got my wife here. Juju's watching here at this point. We click Juju Star. Open it up. There it is. I'm going to make sure I've got this set to vert vertical here. We've changed, played around with the numbers, setting the quality at 20 lines per millimeter. Vertical. I click next. And now I got it figured I need it to be seven and a half inches tall. So that comes out to 191 millimeters. I click create. Gerbil. Connect. Widen screen. And let this thing take a minute. And there it goes. All right. There we go. Can't see anything on it at the moment because the laser cover is blocking the view. But as it comes into play, we'll be able to see it coming in pretty clear. How long does this thing look like it's going to do? An hour and 43 minutes? Two. Let's let it run. Let's go get something to eat. Okay. Let's go ahead and fast forward at this point. Spoilers. 
Spoilers, come look. You want me to look? Then you're telling me I'm gonna be spoiled? Oh no, I said spoilers. Dad doesn't care. <gasps> right? It's gonna be like 45 minutes left or something. I love how the different woods go a different color. Oh, hey, it's done. Oh. I've got this stuff here my wife found. I'm really not sure how I want to pronounce that. But, it actually works pretty good. I like putting it on, and I like rubbing it in with a paper towel. My wife says she prefers using her bare hands putting it on. She's done a few of these boards as well. And sometime tomorrow, I'll put that board cream on. And there it is. The board cream has been rubbed into it. And when my wife sees this, I'm sure she's going to be tickled to pieces over it. Hope you've had fun watching this. I've certainly had fun putting this thing together. And tune in next week when we'll see what we can do about getting another video out here on this channel. Y'all have a great day now.